Hello everyone and welcome to another Minecraft episode. And Hello. yeah, this time it's uh, a response to Dogham's video. Yeah, we built this uh, contraption here for him and it's the endomizer. It's um, uh, this con uh, machine here is basically a randomizer which uh, picks uh, yeah, as many um, uh, numbers or as many whatever you want to uh, pick. Uh, out of 86, but basically you can also adjust the amount of uh, out of uh, which number you want to uh, draw uh, random numbers, and um, yeah, the principle behind is the Endermen are teleporting randomly when they are um, inside water and don't want to stay there. Um, yeah, we will be dug in the code a lot, and so maybe he can explain best what's going on. When an independent man is inside water, um, yeah, he's trying to teleport away, and yeah, maybe you can explain a bit more in detail um, how he's teleporting. Well, uh, he checks his surroundings and searches for a random spot anywhere in a 32 radius. Um, by the way, it's not a sphere. He searches in a uh, cube with a radius of 32 blocks, which means um, yeah, the whole place here where the water is placed um, is a potential place uh, where you can teleport to so and um, if his target is valid so if it's dry and he can stand there uh, he will teleport to this place otherwise he will stay where he is yeah, so uh, yeah, one thing to mention, uh, as the radius is 32, that basically means that the uh, cube here has an, uh, the one side is 30, uh, 65 meters long, so 32 plus one spot where he is sitting on, and then another 32 in the other direction. And yeah, this is um, yeah, pretty uh, large area, as you can see here. And um, yeah, he checks for one spot at every tick. That means it ca might take uh, quite a while till he, te till he teleports. But if he checks for uh, one of the pressure plate spots very uh, at uh, at the soon, uh, um, pretty much at, at the, the beginning, beginning. He, uh, he might be teleporting uh, very quickly. And yeah, he below here you can see he's uh, ke uh, kept in ice, and you can't see the ice from the outside. That's why we chose ice. It's uh, yeah, looks pretty cool if you can have a nice uh, view on this Enderman here. And these Enderman spawners were brought in with MC Edit, and the redstone lamps below there indicate if um, the trigger is pulled, which um, then will just pull the gold block one bl meter down so that the Enderman will stand in water and teleport to a random spot. Let's just uh, demonstrate this here. Yeah, so now you see he's getting damage, and he will eventually teleport away. Uh, might take a moment. The problem is uh, that it's a uh, day at the moment. I think that's why it's not uh, working because he, he won't teleport um, to a spot in daylight. Um, uh, yeah, I have to do the same uh, this thing at night, so the machine is basically only working at night. Um, oh, if you have a ceiling on top. Of oh, it. if you have a ceiling, of course. Um, I'm not sure, but um, I'm, I think it's um, because it was at wasn't at night. But in our tests before, it was always working when it was at night. Um, yeah, and what happens if the pressure plate gets activated? I will show it again. Um, Dogham showed it also in his video, um, but for the ones who didn't watch him. Here is the little setup. It's uh, yeah, I came up with the idea to use uh, pressure plates, and this piston below will just get activated and uh, destroy the pressure plate, which means that the water will now flood over the p spot here, and this uh, deactivates this spot here. And the dispenser just gets updated, and as he's receiving power from this redstone torch, um, he'll dispense an item, and so we uh, took books with the numbers from the win subscriber contest winners inside every dispensers. Actually, that was Banana. Yeah, thanks a lot for you, for your work. Mm -hmm. It was a lot of work uh, to write all 86 names in the books. And um, yeah, afterwards... 84. 84? <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, yeah. My fault. Um, yeah, we built this cube up so high so that the Enderman won't be able to teleport back on and also um, at this height no slimes are able to spawn anywhere and mess up our system. You know, they are pretty annoying. And yeah, the blocks, um, uh, the books will 
just drop down and land on the water streams here will be carried away very quickly because there's ice below and just be carried to the center where um, Joe or BRMC has made a pretty fancy um, balcony here and um, here in this chest there are the winners locked by this cat here <laughs> sweet little cat and yeah that's pretty much all what we can say about this design here but um, yeah Panda has developed an alternative version because there was one issue with this thing sometimes the enderman would teleport away so quickly that he wouldn't tr uh, wouldn't trigger the pressure plate because he was just at the edge of the block where he was uh, yeah, in the water right after it and yeah, to improve this um, we developed this design, or he developed this design. Maybe he can sh uh, show what we did here. Panda, are you here? Uh, can you come over? Maybe. Uh, where? Um, yeah, yeah, I'm um, at this. Yeah, right over here. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, yeah, maybe you can tr uh, explain on uh, what's going on here. Yeah, come to the side. So uh, basically. It just placed uh, a solid block above the piston, it's a sticky piston, and redstone on top of it, and uh, we got sand uh, on top of the redstone. If the pressure blade uh, gets triggered, the redstone will get powered, and the uh, piston will get powered by the redstone, and uh, push the block up, and then the redstone is destroyed and it will go down again, and the sand will fall down, because it's uh, yeah, sand is falling if uh, there's air below. Okay, the advantage of this thing is that uh, at the beginning the pressure plate is actually totally outside of the water so the water level is uh, right where these iron blocks are so where the blue uh, lapis blocks is are so that the pressure plate is not in the water but above but still um, after you trigger the setup um, the water will also flood the center and that means um, yeah you will if the enderman lands on the pressure plate he won't uh, be inside the water even if he's, if he's just at the edge and therefore um, he will definitely trigger the pressure plate all the times. The disadvantage of this design is that you have to place the redstone and the sand and then the pressure plates to reset it and here you only have to place the pressure plate again but yeah both have their advantages and yeah this uh, randomizer is pretty much only for the subscriber contest we don't have any plans to put it anywhere in our survival map or something but um, I still like it a lot and uh, if you have a use for it or maybe uh, want to draw make an o your own draw um, somewhere yeah maybe you can try something like this on your uh, on your own I think we've pretty much covered all the aspects about this thing here and um, yeah there's so one thanks thing for watching to mention this one okay to mention. Um, you can't have um, Enderman spawners in uh, a normal world. You <laughs> have to place them with. Um, where did it? Yeah, I used MC Edit for uh, it, MC but MC edit, yes. um, yeah, of course it's um, yeah, a little bit of extra work to uh, to use um, MC Edit or something. But uh, it also helped us a lot to build this uh, gigantic cube here. I wouldn't <laughs> uh, put uh, uh, wouldn't have built this by just by hand. Um, yeah. yeah. No, in normal creative mode, you can use Enderman spawn eggs, of course. Yeah. So that's for the thing here. Um, yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, I hope you liked, and yeah, see you in our next survival episode.